Hi folks, this is Professor Mughal here again. Um, a lot of us who are electric or, uh, electrical or electronic engineers or electrical and computer engineers, we have a lot of love for data electronics. We love to play with logic gates, um, combining some basic logic gates and come up with some unique applications. Uh, and for that reason, uh, you guys are going to love this tutorial because this is about an app that you can see on the top left of the screen. It's called Digital Circuit Simulator. You can create logic circuits, uh, sequential circuits and combinational circuits. It's got flip-flops. Um, you can make uh, multiplexers out of it, encoders and decoders. And plus it, all, it also has a built-in library where circuits already um, created and you can modify them to your own uh, purpose now uh, remember this is the uh, free version of it and but it comes with some limitations so you can only have certain number of elements uh, so say you can have like I, I believe eight uh, logic gates you cannot have more than eight logic gates um, don't quote me on that but there's some limitations however I have this digital gate circuit simulator that you see on the top right screen and I paid seven dollar and ninety nine cents for it uh, I thought it was reasonable because looking at uh, what this app is capable of and because I teach a lot of data electronics uh, I thought this was a reasonable purchase for me um, so those of you who are probably going to go with like basic logic gates and do it for fun they probably want to go with this free version and if you can afford you can go with this digital gate circuit simulator and again it's seven dollar and ninety nine cents i have already gone ahead and installed it so i'm going to open it and once i open it it's actually gonna look something like this uh, you can go here and you can rename your circuit so i'm just gonna say okay experiment uh, all right i'm gonna done uh, and then I'm going to work on it okay so let me show you some of the uh, tools they have on the top left of the screen over here these are the folders where you can save your uh, projects you can rename them over here um, so if I choose save as and close if I go to library here are all the circuits so if you click on any one of them here's a built-in uh, 4x2 decoder over here um, I can go back and uh, no, I don't want to overwrite I can go back and work on the circuit that I saved as experiment um, where, where was it uh, let's see library um, uh, let's go to files and I believe this was it yeah um, yeah let me go ahead and rename it again uh, I'll say experiment and then I'll go ahead uh, save changes and close um, and then let me and I'm going to work on it now okay so that was the folder right here um, this flash looking thing is basically a simulation button right here this is in the edit mode right now when I tap on it it goes to uh, simulation mode on the top right uh, on the uh, uh, at the top you have these gates okay uh, these are all the basic gates this is a label right here all the uh, this is JK flip flops you also have this switch right here on and off button and then you have this um, a clock and virtual uh, link out and virtual uh, connectors right here I'm not gonna talk about those today but what I'm gonna talk about is the basic logic gates how you put them together to create circuit we're gonna use LED uh, and then uh, a register right here okay also on the top right of the screen you have this wiring button right here uh, for making connections or deleting or uh, uh, some uh, some gate and you have this settings right here where you can undo or uh, as I go along uh, I will uh, show you how so let's make um, some basic logic circuits if you tap on the icon uh, or tool for a few seconds it should allow you to drag uh, the gate into the work area and similarly I'm gonna do the same thing for all of the gates just hold on to it for maybe a second and it should allow you to um, just drag and plug and play sort of thing okay it automatically assigns a number 
to each two or gate as you see these are already numbered one two three four i'm gonna drag exclusive or also and then i'm gonna drag exclusive nor also okay i think i'm gonna work with these six gates i also need a switch that i'm gonna use to uh, that i'm gonna use as an input because all of them are two input gates also if you notice at the bottom at the right bottom of each gate you have this settings tool the gear if i click on it here i can change the number of inputs so say right now it's it's set to two if you want to you can change it to three four or whatever you can also label it say if i want to label it as end gate uh, a1 okay you can also choose a color you like say if you want to set it to blue click OK and you'll see the name of that gate right at the bottom okay all right now I'm gonna uh, drag another switch because we have two inputs uh, although these are um, already labeled as A and B but if you want to give them a unique identity or name you can again do that by just clicking on this gear and then typing the label name over here okay also for the switch you can choose it to be in between a pulse or a toggle because i'm going to use it as an on and off switch so i'm going to set it to toggle right here now i'm going to do the wiring the wiring all you need to do is to click over here hold it for a few seconds and then attach it to your input of each of the logic gate and i'm going to do the same for all of the input gates again for the second input would be for this switch right here okay uh, you can move it around also and the wire will move um, Similarly, I'm gonna attach this input right here to this and then this one to this again this uh, This goes right here This goes right here This goes right here Okay, all right um, Remember folks I I told you at the top right there's a settings gear right here gear uh, icon right here uh, if we click on show all it will basically just zoom in okay make sure everything is in the scope um, you can select all by uh, tapping on select all you can deselect also uh, if you want to group them together you can also do that by clicking on group and then you can move around the whole thing you can label it if you want to so i'm just going to label it as a basic logic gates here you can also increase the size of the font if you wish to the maximum you can get is 34 so let me go ahead and do that you can also choose the color if you wish so let me say if i want to choose pink and i click ok and then you should see um i think i misspelled that so let me go ahead and fix that um also this is supposed to be I can just do undo here yeah all right um, yeah so um, you, you can put a label group them and uh, put a title to it also I'm now going to uh, simulate my logics here uh, if I click on this top in the top left, you this you see that flash looking icon if you click on it you are in a simulation mode right now where the logic is set to zero for input A and input B uh, both. Uh, if I am going to turn one of the inputs high, um, we would expect that uh, the logic for the end gate uh, to stay zero and for uh, the OR gate which is over here, uh, zero also but we are missing leds that would be our indicator so i'm gonna go to gates uh, and then i'm going to drag led over here and i would need uh, six of those okay all right and then i need to wire um i need to wire what all i need to do uh, also this uh, this plier looking thing icon is basically would allow you to uh, if you want to delete any any of the tool any of the gate you can do that uh, this is the one that uh, soldering iron looking thing is basically changing the color of the wire if you need to so let me change it to red here and then I'm gonna make wire connection here and connect the output of each of the individual gate 
to the LED and then uh, once I am done with that I'm gonna do the simulation so let's click on that flash looking icon again and notice over here as the A is 1 and the B is 0 uh, the NAND gate output is 1 and that's what we were expecting for the OR gate which is number 3 gate Again, any of the input is high, output is going to be high. For the NOR gate, um, it's an opposite of OR gate. So if OR gate is 1, NOR gate number 4 is going to be 0. You have this exclusive OR gate, number of 1s are even because one of the input is high, so output is high. And then exclusive NOR gate being opposite of exclusive OR gate, so it's going to be 0. So if I uh, make B also 1, you would expect the output of this LED 1 should be one which it is now okay so it's pretty simple pretty easy to use you can actually use it on your smartphone also one thing that i was also going to show you it has this uh, register looking thing also in an array format if you wish to you can also make connection of the output of the each gate to these okay and again like you if you move it around you can change the wire also uh, similarly if i connect this to this uh, this to this, this to this and then if I change my logic I should be able to see so if you look at LED 3 is lit up uh, uh, LED 3 is also lit up over here um, at the bottom you see a timeline if you click on it it basically tells you the real-time um, logic at the inputs and at the outputs if you notice switch a and switch b are set to one position uh, just when i would change the logic for b to zero you'll see the b here at the bottom will go to zero okay and similarly led one two three four five and six are the output of each of these individual logic gates uh, i hope you will find this useful this is a very interesting and very exciting application enjoy your rest of the day uh, stay safe in these difficult times uh, during uh, as we are hit by covid 19 um, i hope you enjoyed this video take care bye bye